again, Kate Crouch here for another session of Embodied Engagement. And so today we are in the Pinkerton Aretzi Gallery here at the Missoula Art Museum. The Missoula Art Museum sits on the ancestral territories of the Salish and Pandare peoples. And we respect the indigenous stewards of this land. NAM acknowledges their rich cultures as fundamental to artistic life in Montana and to the work of NAM. We're also grateful for a grant from the media assistance grant that was donated to the art museum so that MCAT is able to record this session with us today, so, which is pretty awesome, which means I don't have to just do it from my phone anymore, which is really nice. So today, here we are. We are um, really honored to be able to present these works by Nancy Erickson. Nancy Erickson is a Missoula artist, so it's so fantastic to have one of our own as a uh, showcase today. And her work is painted quilts. This is a really interesting art form that, um, that we haven't gotten to use yet for embodied engagement. And behind me, we have these wonderful wolves. And with the painted quilting, we'll get to experience not only what these looks like from farther away, but also all of the detail work. And it's in the details that we're going to explore our embodied engagement for today. My theme for the month has been micro exploration. And meaning that rather than just taking on this larger concepts around us. For Nancy Erickson, it is an envisioning of a post-nuclear Eden, which is a large subject on our, generally on climate change and what our lives would look like perhaps after there's a rebalancing between the species. And for the micro exploration in my theme, I find that the quilting is a natural carrier so that we can start to focus on the smaller things around us. Sometimes we can get overwhelmed with this idea of climate change and how can I have a personal responsibility and how can I make a difference myself. So as we begin today, we'll start with an orientation. Now you're welcome to sit on the ground or on a chair. You're welcome to lie down and just listen for a little bit here. But rather than closing your eyes, I'd like you to orient yourself with the space around you. So just take a moment and just notice the four walls around you, your relationship between the ceiling and the ground. Maybe just notice the sounds that are in your atmosphere. And then take a moment to notice your own breath and become more acutely aware of the sensations in your body. As we're listening to these different sounds bouncing around, the sound of my voice and whatever is in your ambiance, see if you can start to shift that awareness of sound from what's going on around you and start to shift it to the sound of your own breath as you inhale and as you exhale. Maybe start to feel the sensation of breath as it travels out of the nose and over the top lip. And as you inhale, the sensation of breath as it comes back in. Allow your body to become heavy. Noticing the weight of the body towards the ground. Maybe it's just the feet or the hips or the backs of the thighs. In spring, we bring up these ideas of earth and water, a renewal. See if you can be a little bit more like water, filling up the space around you. Water is also very grounding. 
starting to draw the sensation of feeling tied down heavy to the earth. We're going to work through a brief gratitude meditation. Start to develop a sense of gratitude for this small space that you inhabit, your own small climate. the place where you live. And then start to shift awareness to a person whom you are grateful for. See if, as you close the eyes, you can start to develop that sensation of being with that person, whether they're close or far, whether it's just a memory, or maybe that person is in the room with you now. How does the gratitude for that person feel in your body? And then a place, somewhere you feel deeply connected. Maybe it's your garden your cozy bed, but see if you can hone in on a particular scent, a vision of that place. Allow it to be small and bright and clear. Allow yourself to imagine that perhaps you're even there just for a brief visit. And notice how that changes your sensations in the body, the breath, maybe even your mental clarity, your focus. Begin to shift awareness to some object that you're grateful for. Maybe it's a book or a ring. Again, make it small and well-defined. If it's an object, perhaps even feeling the weight of it in the hand or on the body. And then an experience, something magical that you never thought would happen. And again, let the very details be what come to mind and bring it its depth. As we bring this person, place, object, and experience into the body, see how definitive you can make it, your micro exploration. One benefit to bringing all of these small awarenesses is that we feel that they're tangible, something that we can control when there's so much around us that we're unable to control. So I'll invite you to continue this micro exploration of gratitude by caring for either a garden or even a house plant, something that you can tend to and watch regularly, watching its ebb and flow of growth, how it changes through the seasons. Sometimes this could be a tree or a landscape that we travel by every day. But make an agreement with yourself right now to pick either a certain plant or a piece of land that you can contribute to, that you can care for. And we'll take a deep nourishing inhale 
and a deep clarifying exhale. As we explore Nancy Erickson's work, we're looking at the smaller details, how she has invited both small changes, even here with what looks like cave paintings bringing up the past, but able to transmute them into the future. Her work, these small details, everything well cared for, every stitch, just like our ability to watch our own garden grow or a plant, or maybe you're starting to think of ways in your own artwork that you could bring in this micro exploration. What would the future look like in this rebalancing? What if everyone around us took the time to care for their small piece of earth? And that's probably the most enlivening part of this showcase is the idea and imagination that Erickson brings. In some of the pieces, it's just very silly and fanciful and fun. And in other pieces, a little sad, <laughs> a little hard to take. Find one piece or something as you're able to scroll through and see the different artworks that stood out to you. And we'll end with another piece of gratitude. Grateful for this artwork and our ability to have a wonderful artist in our community that helps us enliven and enlighten our daily practices. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.